with a race one, round two, uh, 10 points. And that's going to be good for him to build on. Abdul Qatir and Laiwi Singh, after that tragedy of not winning last time, coming second, they had two seconds. Well, they finished in fourth. William Ho is in fifth. Leona Chin has finished in second. By the looks of it, well, we're going to just have to check that because we're now waiting to see where the second Proton R3 car is. It is currently one minute away from where it should be. And this would, of course, mean that Leona Chin wins due to the fact that the one Proton R3 car has got a 30 second time out of penalty. And that is, of course, Farouk Haruman and Shafiq Ali. And James Virapan and Mitchell Chia in the second Proton R3 are now dropping down the order. They've yet to finish. They're one and a half minutes overdue, which means Leona Chin should come through with a third win on the trot. If that happens, that would be by far the biggest story. Deserved, you'd have to say, because she really does get stuck into these fights and has kept that Ted Co racing car in the fight for exactly this situation. But as for the two Proton R3s, well, we're going to have to ask some serious questions about a pair of cars that dominated qualifying and then have come out in the race, dominated the race, but then it's reliability in the end. Doesn't look like that. Maybe it's the rain that has done it. There's now a very big question mark, and I don't just mean that in my head. I mean it on the racing computer as well. For James Verapan and Mitchell Chow, and trust me when I tell you that if a computer doesn't know where you are, there's a pretty good chance something has gone wrong here. You can't really disappear from this track with your transponder in the car, so we have to wait and see what happened to that number 82 car. It has not finished. So, Farik, Haruman and Shafiq Ali have won MTC, yes. And Leona Chin is 30.779 seconds behind them. So I wonder well, actually, she should, she should be 26 seconds. So it should be that if the 30-second penalty is added to that Proton R3 team, my theory is that Leona Chin is going to win MTC by four seconds. But do check the website afterwards. Of course, we'll be finding out as soon as we can as well. But looking at some of the other classes, good win for Brendan Paul. He finally delivered on that after a troubled first weekend. SB2, Chongkyat Y has finished ahead of Adi Rahimi Rashid. And Alan Tam in third as well. So more points for Adi Rahimi. Remember, he started with 30 points off round one. So that's not too bad to come up with um, 12 points in race one. Set him up nicely for the four o'clock race tomorrow. And in SB2, well, yep, yeah, that's right. So those are our winners. And only Akidazli from the City Fast Racing Team finishing outside of the top four. So I wonder if there was a problem with that car. We'll have the, fin the full results coming up in just a second. Race control are going to be checking those.